हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल तो दिस वीडियो इज ए पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक चार्ट प्लॉटिंग इन पावर बीआई एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर स्टैक्ड बार चार्ट इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड द स्टैक्ड कॉलम चार्ट्स एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दैट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लोडिंग द डेटा आई एम गोइंग टू लोड द एक्सेल वर्क बुक अगेन let's load the global super score 2016 which we already have loaded in the last video and from uh, the global store data we will again load the transaction data only the order data uh, and uh, just click the load button here and the data will be loaded here so this load data have a different uh, transaction date the category of a transaction and the quantity as well as the amount the sales amount so today we will try to utilize the same value uh, the transaction date the category as well as the sales amount data we will try to take it uh, let's see that so if we wanted to if we wanted to see the different columns or trend of columns is coming into the feed into the data you can go and just click this order and you will see the different kind of columns in gate coming here uh, and if you wanted to see the data we can just need to click this, this data button and whatever the table will be appear you will just need to click it here so by default it has only one table so uh, right now you can see all the data for this table so we have a row id order id order date ship date so from here i will take the order date and again uh i will take the segment for now uh and just uh, let's see that how many types of segment we have so we have the three type of segment so we will take uh, this segment for this uh video and uh, the next column i am going to take the sales the total sale so in the last video i have uh, took the quantity but this video i will take the sales okay so let's go to the report and uh, just click to this tagged bar chart so we'll see this kind of bar chart is coming and for that you just just drag it in to between uh, and let's go to the y x and to the legend field inside the visualization so in the y axis you need to drop the order date and inside the x axis you need to drop <laughs> you need to drop the sales and uh, we wanted to see this either we can do by the category or we can uh, do by the segment wise so for now let's select uh, the segment into the legion okay so you see uh, there is a three color indicating here right so for each of the segment and now you can also see the data is divided into the year wise 2012 13 14 and 15 and in the last video i told you how to do the drill down or drill up because in the last video we already have the data in the date range and here we have a year range so let's keep as year only here uh, if you want you can do the drill down button it will come to the quarter wise okay but for now uh, we just need the data into the year wise so let's keep the year only okay so just to wait i think uh, this uh, arrow has been clicked so just to wait for a minute it might be appearing okay so uh, nothing will happen just need to or uh, i mean i don't want to drill down into based on the quarter so just keep as it is or uh, let's do some formatting here for that we just need to go to the second tab uh, from the visualization and here let's see the y axis click on and uh, we want the continuous type data we can also select the categorical so this will be changed to 2013 14 50 that will be changing only thus just i mean the year is reversed now to starting from 2012 to 2015 okay so the latest uh, year will come to the down and the, the uh, previous years will come to the uh, top okay nothing will change there just the font uh, you uh, my preference will be the calibri and uh, 
the font size should, should be the 12 so that it can be clearly visible make the color as a black this one title is on because we want to see the year or month or whatever things go to the axis now uh, you can see the range is auto so you can start from the zero and you can define your limit the maximum limit uh, let's go to the values and see uh, if we can change the different font size and increase the font size so make it 12 and uh, select the color as a black so that it can be clearly visible title again uh, we wanted to see the total sum of the sales right so i'm taking as the same nothing changing here okay uh, let's make them again calibri and 12 color is legend yeah so we have the legend on uh, where do you want to see the position of the legend uh, most preference will be the top right so that you can see the legend okay and identify the color and the color code which you are uh, which you are doing here text that's fine uh, take the 12 so it can be clearly visible so make the size as a 12 color will be the black title is uh you wanted to see segment or not but let's keep as a segment so that we can we know that okay what kind of what kind of uh, different type of categories we have it so okay uh grid lines nothing to do zoom slider we don't want anything let's go to the bar and uh, uh make the change to color so let's select this one for the first one for the second make uh, the color to what actually and for the third i am taking this color okay so now the color code has been changed and it looks nice uh spacing no need to do yeah data labels that is very important right now we can only just see the color but we don't know how much value or how much sales for individual segment we have it so for that we just need to enable the data label so just make them on you will see here of uh, the how much sales is coming for each segment right so right now it's millions you can make them millions or uh, thousands or billions it's up to you okay so values will be again uh, let's make some increase the value so that it's clearly visible so now 12 color will be white actually so let's keep as it is no need to change it's already in the white how much decimal place you wanted to play uh value after that you can just put it from here background you wanted to change any background keep it on or off for now we don't need any background and uh, i think that's it for uh, this visual uh, the basic few more basics if you wanted to make change like title is on so the title is something like whatever you wanted to give the title you just define it here increase the font size so that can be clearly visible and put into the middle okay go to the effect uh, let's just change the background some little gray color so it should look good uh transparency it's up to you how much you wanted to put and give the border so that it can be clearly visible like that okay so this is the stacked bar chart and uh, I hope uh, you understand that how to create the stacked bar chart in Power BI. Uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.